In this chapter, we shall see how to monitor and manage the devices that are attached to the AS400 system. Each device that is attached to the AS400 must be described to the system using a device description. The device description contains a name for the device along with the description. These device descriptions can be created automatically or manually through commands. To enable automatic configuration, the system value auto configure device must be set to 1. When automatic configuration is used, the format of the device name is based on the contents of the system value device naming conventions. Here we can specify one of the following values. Normal to indicate that the naming convention on the AS400 is to be used. For example, DSP01 for display workstations, PRT01 for printers, TAP01 for tape devices, star S36 to indicate that the system 36 naming convention is to be used. For example, W1 for workstation, P1 for printers and T1 for tape. Star DEVADR is specified that the naming convention from the device resource name is to be used. For example, DSP CCPPDD for a display station, PRT CCPPDD for a printer where CC refers to the controller number, PP refers to the port number and DD refers to the device address. When auto configuring devices, ensure that the addresses are set correctly before powering on the device. It is not necessary to perform an IPL to add a new device to the system. When a new device is turned on, the system senses the new device and creates a device description for it. To create device descriptions manually, you have various commands such as create device description display, create device description printer, create device description diskit, create device description tape. Let us now look at how to monitor the various devices attached to your AS400 system. The system uses the QSYS OPR message queue to inform you about the status of various devices. We can use the go device command to display device operations menu. From here we can manage all the devices on the system. Selecting option 1 causes work with configuration status prompt display to be shown. If you use the default values, all system devices will be displayed. For each device, its name, its status and the job it is associated with is displayed. The, the status can have one of the following values. Active, indicating that the device is in use. Active slash write, indicating that the device is being used by the spooled writer. Held, indicating that the device is being held. Sign on display, to indicate that the system is displaying the sign on prompt or performing sign on processing. Vary off pending, indicating that the device is being varied off. Varied off, indicating that the device is no longer available for use. Vary on pending, indicating that the device is being varied on. Varied on, indicating that the device is available for use. Here, you have various options 
such as vary on, vary off, work with the job, work with the device description, etc. Pressing the F23 key will give you many more options such as to hold the device so that it is prevented from transmitting or receiving data, to release the device, to end automatic recovery, to resume automatic recovery, to display connection status and to work with LAN adapters. When remote systems or workstations are attached to your AS400 system, you can use the communication status menu to monitor and manage the communication lines, remote controllers and remote devices. Selecting option 1 will take us to the configuration status menu. If you press the enter key on this display, you can view the status of all the communication lines on your system along with the network servers, network interfaces along with the controller and devices attached to those lines. Under the description column, you first have the communication line listed. If there are any associated controllers, they are listed below the communication line and are indented two spaces. Any devices attached to the controller are listed below the controller indented two spaces. To vary off a communication line, we should first vary off the devices attached to the controllers on this line, then vary off the controllers and finally vary off the line. To vary on a line, we follow the reverse procedure. That is, we begin with the line followed by the controllers and then the devices. The print device address command is a very useful command that can be used to print the status of the controller. This command generates a chart which shows the status of each port and the addresses where the existing devices are attached so that we can identify the free addresses. This command should be executed once for each local and remote controller on the system. Another command we have is the work with hardware resources command. Here, you need to specify the type of hardware that you want to work with. The available values are communications, coupled adapter, LAN adapter, local workstation, processor and storage. If we specify a value of star CMN, the system will display the work with communication resources display. With this, we have to end this chapter. In this chapter, we saw how to configure the devices attached to the AS400 system. We also looked at how to monitor the various devices using the system operator message queue. We also looked at such commands as the work with communication status, work with configuration status and print device address command.